Hello, Robbinsdale Middle School. It's Principal Jackson, and I just want to say welcome, welcome, welcome back to all of our 6th, 7th, and 8th graders who are visiting with us as hybrid learners. We are so happy to have you here. I am asking you all to remember to wash your hands, wear your masks while in the building, stay socially distanced as much as possible, bring your own water bottles when you can, definitely, so we can fill up those water bottles at our water, water filling stations. Also, I want to remind you to look for the arrows on the floors to remind yourself to walk to the right. So we want to remember, look for the arrows, and they tell you where to walk. So we are walking to the right. We want you to remember that. And as, as usual, the RMS staff is here to help, help you, and we're learning ourselves. So please give us space and grace as we practice social distancing and wearing a mask and remind you to do the same. For our, our students who have decided to stay in distance learning, we want you to know that we miss you. We love seeing you online and we are making sure that we have engaging opportunities for you while we are doing concurrent teaching and learning. So we want you to know that we are here to help all of you to be successful. And if you need anything, we are a phone call away. Now, getting right to our SAT for, word for the week, it is voluminous, which is an adjective, and it means large or ample. For example, the singer known as Lady Gaga is known for her colorfully voluminous hairstyles and wardrobe choices. Voluminous. Hey, did you know that your families may be able to receive up to $130 a month more for any child school age during our pandemic through EBT funds? Yes, up to $130 more. So if your family qualifies for free or reduced meal prices, you can get additional funds. And our RMS staff will be reaching out to families to help them apply if you will qualify, you can get anywhere from $75 to $130 per school age child a month. So if you see us call you, please pick up the phone so that we can help you qualify for those pandemic EBT cards. So we want to make sure that everyone gets an opportunity to get that information. March also is Women's History Month. And we have been talking about a whole lot of different women during Women's History Month. And this day, I wanna talk with you about Prima Ballerina Maria Tall Chief. And that's a picture of Maria Tall Chief right there. And let me tell you a little bit about Maria Tall Chief. She was born in Fairfax, Oklahoma. Her father was a member of the Osage Nation. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Upon graduating from high school at age 17, Miss Tall Chief moved to New York City to pursue her ballet career full time. Can you imagine as a 17 year old going to New York City to be a ballerina? Wow, she was brave. She was a risk taker. That's one of our ATL skills this month. So her career began to take off and many tried to persuade Maria Tall Chief to change her name so that other dance companies would not discriminate against her for her Native American heritage. But she refused and continued to perform as Maria Tall Chief all throughout her career. She became a prima ballerina in the New York City Ballet, which means that she was the top, the first, the headliner ballerina for the New York City Ballet. And one of Tall Chief's best known roles was as the Sugar Plum, Plum Fairy, the Sugar Plum Fairy in one of my favorite ballets of all times, The Nutcracker. So if you Google Maria Tall Chief as the Sugar Plum Fairy, 
in the Nutcracker, you will be able to see her wonderful performance. She's also very well known for her signature Firebird role. So if you Google Maria Tall Chief as Firebird, you could also see her in her voluminous Firebird outfit. See how I snuck that SAT word for the week in there? Okay, after retiring from dancing, Maria Tall Chief and her sister opened the Chicago City Ballet, a ballet school in dan and dance company in where? My hometown, Chicago, Illinois. Never forgetting her Native American ancestry, she spoke out against injustices and discrimination all her life. And as prima ballerina, Miss Tall Chief not only broke barriers for Native Americans, but she also became one of the only Americans recognized in the European ballet companies. Miss Tall Chief died in April of 2013, but she left a huge legacy. She was a risk taker, and she is a person that you should know. I hope you learned something new today. And until next time, have a wonderful day. Mask up, wash your hands, and we are so glad to see you here. Have an awesome day of learning.